thanks to our studio audience for joining us today on Delmarva Life. To find out how you can become a member of our studio audience, visit delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab or call the number on your screen, 443-880-9116. Mind your manners, that's what my mother used to tell me growing up, especially at mealtime. But I have to admit, when we had meals, our place setting didn't have so many items. And that's why Nancy Mitchell, she's a etiquette consultant, is joining us on Delmarva Life today. She's gonna to talk about how to navigate through these fancy place settings that I know as I get older, I'm seeing more of. Absolutely, so many of the important occasions in mm -hmm. our lives are taking place over a meal now. It can be a job interview, it can be a charity event, it can be a wedding, it can be something that's so important you want to make your best impression. Sure. Look at your place setting when you sit down. Don't touch anything until you've figured it out. Okay. Here's a tip. Pretend you're driving a BMW. Oh, I like that tip. <laughs> superimpose those letters across your place setting and you'll always know where your place setting starts and where it ends. Okay. BMW would be B on the left side for your bread plate, M in the middle for the main course, and the W on the right side for the water or the wine. Oh, okay. So you'll never use the wrong bread plate. Right, which is something I've done before because sometimes when we're, we have, you know, a very small table, there's a bread plate right there. It's and true, and the best thing you can do if that happens to you, someone else uses your bread plate, is absolutely nothing. You're not going to embarrass somebody else by something they've done. Just ask the server for another bread plate mm -hmm. or put your bread on your main plate. It's okay. not the end of the world. All right. Now, we have a lot of silverware here and I don't even know where to begin. So what's your advice on that? Well, that's one rule that hasn't changed. You're always going to go from the outside in toward the place setting. Mm -hmm. So you'll know that the first thing you'll use is probably your soup spoon on the right side. That's set on the right because we're a pred predominantly right-handed society. Oh, okay. Then you'll go to the next knife and fork. That's a salad course because in North America we get the salad before we get the main course. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to go further in and you have your entree knife and fork. You can't go wrong by watching what other people are doing or just following that outside in rule. Anything above the place setting you'll know is for dessert. Leave it there till later. Oh, okay. And you know what? Now that you mention that, I remember hearing that in Titanic. Molly Brown towering Leonardo DiCaprio. Just work your way in with the silverware. Hasn't changed. All right. Now, um, you got the napkin on the plate when you sit down. When do you take the napkin and put it into your lap? Do you do it before the meal is served or when the meal gets there? This throws people for a loop because often we'll hear that we need to wait for the host or the hostess to take their napkin. A lot of people don't know that any longer. Or you're at a business event and nobody is truly taking charge of that table. So you sit down, immediately take it, drop it below the table, mm -hmm. and then what you can't see I'm doing under the table is I'm unfolding it there, not up here. And not shaking it it's out. It's not flapping yeah. like a flag. It's mm -hmm. down here. It's unfolded half, it's a large napkin, it can stay folded in half mm -hmm. and it goes the folded side toward your waist. Then there are two things a napkin can do, blot your mouth mm -hmm. or it can get anything that's off your fingertips and then it goes back to your lap, that's it. It doesn't touch, touch your face, your nose, nothing like that. It goes right back to your lap. Okay, now you're finished with your meal. I often see people take their napkin and put it on top of their plate. It should be folded in loose folds to the left side of your place setting once you're completely finished. That's the only time it goes back on the table when you're finished and you're about to walk away. Mm -hmm. If you're leaving to make a cell phone call, you're going to the restroom. You put your napkin on your chair or across the back of your chair. It's something that's called the silent service code. We're sending signals to the servers about where we are in the progress of the meal. Mm -hmm. If it's on the chair, they know you're not finished and they won't clear this away. Right, right. Here, they can see you're completely finished. Very interesting. And all this information you can find on our website, delmarvalife.com. And if you have some etiquette questions you would like to uh, pose to our etiquette expert, Nancy Mitchell, let us know. Go to our Facebook page. We want to hear them, and hopefully she can address them the next time you're around. Thank you so much. Thank you. I just learned so much. Straight ahead on Delmarva Life, we're going to check in again with Brian Spiros at a few of my favorite things where there's chocolate galore. Chocolate, chocolate, and more chocolate. He's got quite a few ideas if you're stumped over what to get your sweetie for this Valentine's Day. Delmarva Life. Life at its best right here on Delmarva.